Hey roadies, it's your host, the gauche with the most, and we're back at it with Pocket Mirror. Last time, we attended a tea party hosted by a murderous squeaky toy, and we didn't even get any strudel. Now we'll see what trouble we've fallen into in the ballroom in this episode of Pocket Mirror. Side room. Jack in the box. Save file. Please, I need your help. Yes, how can I help you? You see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery, and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use on that machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin beneath my leaves. <laughs> this one, right? Yes, yes, it's the one. Use it, miss. I want to see what my prize is. Oh, yeah, sure, man. A strange box is stored in a corner containing various colorful balls inside it. Insert the coin. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. It's a ribbon. Ah, it's a ribbon. A ribbon? It's really cute. You don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy pumpkin. Oh. Boys can wear ribbons. I can't use my ribbon. I'm sorry, miss. Seems I can't claim my prize after all. Yes, you can. There, see? It looks pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does. There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Well, there's mirrors everywhere else. Leave that to me. <gasps> I'm the most beautiful pumpkin at the ball. <laughs> see? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. Yeah. Looks really happy. Yeah, I made someone today. There's boxes. Great surprises await you in this room, says the Ringmaster Pumpkin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we don't trust those. All right, starting with the first. It's locked shut. Oh, well, that's not anticlimactic. Also locked shut. Hmm. Also locked shut. Don't open. Locked shut. Locked shut. Locked shut. Wow. My choices are endless. <laughs> it was indeed a jack in the box. Why, hello there, miss! Would you like to play a game with us? No. You scared me. What kind of game is it? Why, hello there, miss! Would you like to play a game with us? Again. No. Uh, no. No, thank you. I'm going home. Oh, fine. Well, hello there, miss. Would you like to play again? God, shut up. Yes. All right. Tell me the answer to this next riddle, and you'll be highly rewarded. Should you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. That's the pumpkin. Yes. At his own funeral, did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. Uh, what? Every box will have their own riddle to present to you. Think hard and be clever, for there is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right and you shall advance. Get it wrong three times and there won't be a fourth chance. But any questions arise, don't hesitate to ask me. The ringmaster I am standing here to serve thee. <laughs> what? <laughs> that 
What? That wasn't an answer. Oh, why are they stabbing me? Oh, that was the question? How many people were at the funeral? Okay, so there was the father, the mother, the brother, Matthias, and a couple who couldn't bother. Well, if you think a couple is two, and you're looking at that, then I think it's six. You're rather smart, aren't you? Here's the next riddle. Three times did Marie poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Three. Correct. Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. Resembles a banana. I can't remember the other three colors, so maybe you should ask the queen? Is it the rainbow? Uh, is there like seven colors in a rainbow? Yeah, no, I'm impressed. Here's the next riddle. Katharina and Valentina were born on the 12th of September, one mysterious as the moon, the other cursed with short temper. On the day Valentina turned two, Katharina was half her age. Years have passed, filled with turmoil and rage. The day she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest had she lived another tomorrow? No, wait, because if she was half her age at two, then she was one. So if she was age ten, then how many years would she be her elder? She would, it would still just be one. Hm, it's not as if you're correct or anything. Ooh, Sundari Clown. Here's the next riddle. Having placed her five baked dishes on the window ledge to cool, Mrs. Elizabeth headed out to town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. Once Miss Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know the disaster that had occurred. How many dishes were saved on that dreadful day? Uh, two. I am wrong. Is that the riddle that had no right answer? Because there were five. There were five and the, the robber took two. And that, or was it four because technically only one got eight? makes sense to me. Someone will have to explain that one to me. Two books rest on a shelf. One is upside down, the other is backwards. So tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? What? Would it not still be two? Oh, small girl, big brains. Here's the next riddle. Queen Egliate ate a dozen candies of five different flavors. A bunch of them were pumpkin flavored, one was green apple, two were blueberry, two were grape, and three were cherry. Uh, one, three, and two, five, two, is this important? Eight. So tell me, miss, how many pumpkin candies did Queen Eglia eat? Correct, here's the final riddle. I am all powerful and mighty, going through doors is my specialty. Many in these twisted halls will stand, but fear not, my girl. Have me in hand, for with a gentle touch can I undo the restraints cast upon you. I do like roasted chicken. I'ma go with a key. Good job, miss. You are one truly smart little girl. As I promised, here is your reward. A key. It's a dazzling key. Thank you, mister. But where am I supposed to use this key? Oh, I 
wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. I hate you. I hate all of you. Miss? Huh? Yes? I have one more riddle for you. Would you care to listen? Is this the riddle that has no answer? Yes. Go ahead. What gets broken without being held? I'm sorry, but I'll need time to think on that one. Worry not, little girl, for that riddle's answer does not belong to me. It belongs to you. What do you mean, mister? Suspicious. 